In July of 2022, the U.S. yield curve, measured by two-year versus 10-year, went inverted, meaning 10-year yields went below two-year yields. This inversion has lasted 18 months, making it the longest in the last 40 years. The peculiar shape of the curve has been a reliable predictor of a coming recession. The most simple explanation is that the bond market is predicting rates in the future will need to be engineered lower to handle a coming slowdown. For context, an inverted yield curve has been a precursor to recession in all eight of the recessions since 1968. There have been two or three instances, however, where the curve had quick inversions that did not precede a recession, creating a false signal. But there has never been an inversion of this current magnitude that has not correctly called the coming recession. Interestingly, the recession usually comes as the curve is steepening back towards normal because it reflects the need for quicker, lower rates on the short end to address the current condition. Now, the U.S. yield curve has been quickly normalizing in the last month, moving from negative 53 basis points to negative 27 basis points. Not coincidentally, the futures market has pulled forward its expectations for Fed easing and now predicts 150 basis points in 2024.